Hello everyone, today I am recording this video on popular demand on black lines on nails in English for everyone. Hi, I am Dr. Shankila Mittal, MBS MD Dermatology from Malana Azad Medical College and I am a skin specialist practicing in Delhi. Today we are going to discuss about an important topic which is black lines on nails. We will discuss about why do black lines appear on nails, what can be the different reasons for this and what are the signs which tell us whether it is cancer or not. Also we will discuss what tests can be done to detect the cause of black line and to detect cancer on time. We are also going to discuss about an important investigation which is known as onychoscopy which can help us in detecting any cancerous change in black line on time and thereby prevent us from further danger. So first I am going to talk about the most common cause of black line on nail which is mole under the nail. If you have a black line on nail, most commonly it can develop because of a mole under the nail which leads to a prominent black line on the nail. The line which happen due to moles on under the nail are mostly restricted to one nail only and doesn't involve all the nails. Second important reason is racial pigmentation. Racial pigmentation means uh, in skin type like in us like Indians, Africans, Asians, Middle East people, we mostly have a tendency to develop pigmentation on the skin and same way we also have a tendency to develop pigmentation on our nails. Racial pigmentation mostly involves all or multiple fingernails and can also extend to your toenails. Now the next important reason is oral medications. Many oral medications like minocycline, anti-cancer drugs, HIV drugs, TB medications as well as um, HCQS. These medications can lead to development of pigmentation on our nails. Again, the pigmentation which develops because of medications spreads to multiple nails and doesn't involve only one nail. Next important reason is nutritional deficiencies. Many nutritional deficiencies like vitamin D deficiency, iron deficiency, B12 deficiency can lead to pigmentation on your nails and it can involve multiple nails leading to pigmentation. Now the next important reason is trauma to the nail. Any trauma to the nail which can be either physical injury to the nail like uh, getting stuck in a door or any trauma when you were a child or the uh, habit of picking your nails or scratching your nails all the time can also lead to pigmentation on the nail which is limited to the nails which were involved in the trauma. Now, the next important reason for black line on nails can be any skin disease. Skin diseases like psoriasis, lichen planus, also nail paronychia can also lead to black lines on nails. And again, some nail infections like bacterial infection or fungal infection can present with black lines on nails. In fungal infection, along with pigmentation on nails, there can be thickness of nail, presence of debris under the nail plate as well as yellowish discoloration of the nail. Now coming on to one of the most important reasons of black nails on nails, which is nail tumors. Nail tumors which lead to black nail on nails are most commonly melanoma and sometimes squamous cell carcinoma. Now nail tumors or nail cancers are very rare in Indian populations as compared to West. But yes, definitely it is not zero. So we have to be aware of the same. I'd like to tell you that the chances of black line on nail being cancer is very less in India. So please don't panic. I will be telling you now what are the signs which should alarm you for cancerous change in your black line and should drive you to visit a dermatologist. First and foremost, if your black line has developed in adulthood, like in your 30s or 40s of age, it is rapidly increasing in size and is rapidly spreading. If the black line has irregular margins, the size is more than 6 mm in size or if the black line is extending beyond the nail onto the nail fold or the nail tip then these can be some strong pointers towards cancerous changes in your black line. If you see pyramid sign in your nail, which means that the black line is thicker at the base and thinner at the top, this means that the malignant cells are fast proliferating at the base of the nail and this is also an alarming point towards uh, cancerous change in your black line. If you see any of these changes in your line, then you should definitely visit a dermatologist for further evaluation. Now we'll be discussing that what is a simple test which can be conducted by a doctor by which you can get to know whether there are any clean legging changes in your nail or not. Most commonly we do a test with onychoscopy in which we examine your nail at a very high magnification. When we do onychoscopy, we look at the pattern of your black line. Also we look at the micro lines and the micro striations which are present within the black line. If your nails are very brittle, they break easily or they bleed when you cut the nail, then that also can be an alarming sign. Now again I would like to emphasize that every black line on nail is not cancer. On a microscopy, if your black line has a regular dark color with regular margins, the spacing between the micro lines is regular then, and it is limited to one nail, then it is mostly due to a mole. 
and if your uh, line has regular light or faint grayish in color with again regular margins and regular macrocytosis, it is mostly likely due to a lentigy. And if your black line involves multiple nails, it is faint grayish, grayish to brownish in color with regular margins, then it is mostly a racial pigmentation or due to any deficiency or medication. But if your black line has variation in color, red, blue, brown, black, with wider margins, irregular boundaries, and irregular microstriation, or if it extends beyond the nail, then the chances of cancer can be high. A microscopy also helps us in regular follow up of patients. Sometimes, if we are doubtful about if the line being cancerous or not and the signs are very subtle, we can do a microscopy to follow up the patients. And if we pick up any change in the nail pattern, then we can do a biopsy. Other tests which can help us in diagnosing nail malignancies on time are nail ultrasound or MRI, which are rarely needed depending on which pattern you are suspecting. And then nail biopsy helps us to establish a definitive diagnosis in which take a small biopsy from the matrix of the nail and send it to the lab to look for any pre-malignant change. I would like to summarize it for you that if your line is starting from childhood, it is involving multiple nails, it is not spreading and it is not changing with time, then don't worry, most likely it is a uh, benign condition and it would not be a cancer. But if your line has started developing in adulthood, it's changing shape, size or color, it's extending beyond the nails or it's getting margin at the base, then the chances of it being cancerous can be a little higher and you should visit a dermatologist. Again, I'd like to emphasize that don't panic, not every black line is cancer. Just that if you're worried and you're suspect, suspecting it to be having any changes, just visit a dermatologist and clear your doubts. I hope you like this video and all your doubts have been solved. If you have any doubt beyond this, please feel free to contact us on our WhatsApp number or leave a comment in the comment section. If you have liked our video, please like our video, subscribe, share it on other channels. Thank you so much.